Hi guys, it's Kit here and um, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make smooth walking animations in your scratch games. Um, this is more for beginners, um, it's nice and simple so if you already know how to do it, I don't even know why you're here but um, yeah let's get right into the video. You want to start with at least four costumes I recommend because four costumes is good for a walking animation. Just any animations in general, um, four costumes is usually best, at least three or four. We'll start by getting a one green flag clicked block, um, just to start it all <laughs> forever. If key uh, right arrow is pressed, repeat until um, not key right arrow is pressed, that is until it's not being held down. Uh, next costume, you want to drag the next costume block in there. We're going to duplicate that uh, for left arrow, so this is for going the opposite direction, and we're going to change it to switch costume to, yep, yeah, switch costume to costume number minus one. Got that? Now let's just give that a test, and as you can see the animation is extremely fast, so we're going to need to slow that down. In between, the, well just after these next costumes, we're going to put a wait 0.09 seconds in there and you'll see that things are looking a bit better. Now what if I want the animation to go back to its original standing costume if I let go of the arrow key, so let's just figure that out. Start by getting an if else and wrapping it around this entire piece of code. Um, if right arrow or left arrow pressed, yep, that's both of them. So if they're both, if they're both pressed, or yep, if they're both pressed, then that will run that code there. If they are both pressed, then that will happen. And what if they're not? Well, if they're not, we're just going to switch back to its original standing. Watch what happens here. When I let go of the arrow key, he switches back to his original standing. Now this had a bit of actually move, moving in here and turning around, so you want to point them in direction left, right? And you want to drag in a point in direction 90 and minus 90. You want to put them in each of those codes, just, just before that loop there. And you, as you can see, they'll turn around. Now let's get some movement into this guy, shall we? So, we're going to move them across to the other side of the screen. Yep, like that. It should make no difference, he's just on the other side of the screen. So what we're going to do is move in, uh, put in a move 10 steps just before the next costume. And we're going to put it in both of them. And as you can see, he's getting moved around now. And that is animation in Scratch. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.